Tropical deciduous forests, also known as monsoon forests, are like tropical rainforests, but have a pronounced dry season, meaning that the trees lose their leaves. These forests grow in seasonally dry areas in the tropics. They occur mainly in India, eastern Brazil, northern South America, Central America, Myanmar, Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, and Northern Australia. This biome has one of the most unique climates found in the whole world. The major controlling factor that dictates the climatic patterns is in the hands of what we know as monsoonal circulation. The monsoon is simply put as a seasonal change in wind direction. As temperatures begin to warm, the intertropical convergence zone, better known as ICTZ, shifts and resulting in a period of high precipitation in those regions. In the winter, the ICTZ changes again, and this results in a period of dryness. The classic monsoon circulation of Asia has an onshore flow of air, meaning air moving from the ocean towards the land during the summer, and offshore, offshore air flow, which is air moving from land towards water during the winter season. In response, Trees shed their leaves in the dry season to conserve water and pick up new leaves in the rainy season. Tropical deciduous forests experience 80 to 90 percent humidity throughout the year and an on average temperature of 30 degrees Celsius year round. India and Southeast Asia depend heavily on summer monsoons. The summer monsoon fills vital wells and aquifers that these people use for the rest of the year to farm crops like rice and tea. Lianas, teak, Bamboo and other smaller ferns and shrubs make up the dominant vegetation in this region. Due to the lack of precipitation, trees aren't found closely to each other like that of a rainforest. With that being said, this allows light to pass through the canopy and ultimately creates a dense undergrowth. Soils found in this biome are almost exact same as those found in the tropical rainforest with the same processes. The deciduousness of most of the tree species found in these forests is a significant difference from the tropical rainforest. The structure of the forest is composed of three vertical layers, the undergrowth, understory, and canopy layers. These trees are much shorter than the trees found in the tropical rainforest because due to monsoons, trees lack access to abundant water during the dry season, resulting in decreased growth in trees. The undergrowth layer is the layer where short trees, like bamboo and grasses, grow. In the middle layer, the understory, trees can be found to be around 6 to 15 meters high. The canopy layer is found at the top of the trees. This layer consists of the highest trees found in the forest, growing to around 25 to 30 meters tall. Some of these trees include creeper vines, epiphytes, and parasitic plants. Fauna found in this region includes many different species, ranging from large to small. Some species that can be found in this biome are the black flying fox, Bengal tiger, rock ringtail possum, hulak gibbons, slender loris, and many more. Monsoon forests are also rich with small reptiles and insects, like the northern territory frog, common tree snake, marbled velvet gecko, and 10,000 species of other invertebrate. Many different species of birds, like the emerald dove, yellow oriole, and fig bird can also be found here. Many different species of plants have adapted to this unique climate in a number of different ways. Leaves are found to have a waxy surface that drip tips. This is to facilitate the draining off of rainfall. Bamboos have thin and narrow leaves to minimize water loss through transpiration. Most of all, the trees found in this forest have deep roots that dig deep under the ground as well as cover more surface area. This enables them to tap underground water during the dry season because of its irregular, irregularity in rainfall throughout the year. Not only have plants adapted, but animals as well. Many species' reproductive cycles are timed with the monsoon rains. For example, a small bird known as the pied cuckoo arrives in central and northern India in the last week of May and early June. This bird follows its reproductive migration pattern even, and it is even known in Indian folklore as bringer of the rain due to its same arrival time as the monsoon. 
Insects have also adapted. A certain species of dragonfly known as Labilua is known for follow the mons following the monsoon season in India to the rainy season in eastern and southern Africa. Compared to tropical rainforests, tropical deciduous rainforests have fewer plant species, resulting in a lower biodiversity. This is due to the inconsistent rainfall and the changes in season rapidly. Scientists have only found around 200 different species of plants in one hectare of the forest. Biodiversity among animals is relatively moderate, as there is a large number of big animals, but a majority lie with insects. Much like the rainforest, habitat fragmentation is a big issue tropical deciduous forests face today. Unsustainable illegal logging practices poses the biggest threat. According to recent official estimates, India continues to lose its forest cover located in the monsoon regions. This has huge negative impact on the environment, having the most dramatic with the loss of habitat for millions of species. This can ultimately drive a species, as well as us humans, to extinction if we do not take the right precautions.